Hello everyone, welcome back to chapter 10 of Erica Routes of Fire Emblem The Secret Stones on Lunatic Mode. We have a hard and long chapter ahead of us, but I'm looking forward to it because it's a really fun one. And I'm assuming the same goes for my ever co-host, Raisins. How are you doing? Doing great. Yeah, of course I'm looking forward to it. Like, of course I know it's going to be a fun chapter. What do you think? Yeah, no, this chapter's actually... Th this honestly is one of my favorites in the whole game. Same. I love it a lot. It's nice, lots of enemies, some green guys to recruit. Some time pressure, a red unit to recruit, even. Yeah. What doesn't Or new characters to add to our limited roster. Holy crap. How many is it like per brute anyway? It's like seven? Isn't it like seven and seven? Or seven mid routes? Groups? Yeah, like seven mid route characters per. Not not in, in vanilla, vanilla right? sense, but in, in this. In this in one. This. In vanilla, I think it's like 14. Uh, ooh, that's a hard question. We'll, we'll add it up on the way during a difficult enemy phase. Yeah, uh, no. Let's look at the map real quick, right? So. Um, the, the objective is twofold. So the main objective is seize, but the side objective is really get all the recruitable characters before they get themselves murdered. So, Garrick, Tethys, and Ennis start over here. They're under siege in their little fort over here. If you don't do anything, they're going to die in a couple turns. Garrick specifically is going to die more quickly in lunatic mode because of the uh, enemies being a little bit stronger. I think he gets like murdered by the soldiers alone up here. So you have to be real quick about getting them. And then once we do get them, we have to deal with Marissa. And the cool thing about how this map works, which I didn't notice when I first played it, but later learned, is that you could just skip kind of the chapter, just get over here, and if your fly flyers manage to evade the ballistas, you could just drop like Seth and Erica here, go the boss sees, you get all the characters except Marissa, which, I mean, let's be real, most people probably don't care about Marissa enough to like go through the whole chapter to recruit her. Because if you do want to go through the trouble of recruiting Marissa, what you have to do is recruit Garrick, and then Garrick talks to Marissa. But the moment I think you step below, I think it's this horizontal line over here, like if you step below this, then Marissa activates and her group starts moving towards you, including the stupid sleep priest. Mm -hmm. And then when you recruit Marissa, you get a whole bunch of reinforcements. So that's one of the reasons why I never really bothered with Marissa, but we're here now, we want to get Marissa, so we're going to play the whole chapter out the classic intended way, which means we have to make some elaborate plans. How do you usually deal with this? Yeah, I mean, I usually just kind of like send Tana down. I mean, I know we don't have Tana, but I usually just send Tana down to uh, go ahead and recruit Ennis more quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks like here our only option is going to be like fairy Erica down there as quick as we can in order to recruit Ennis. And yeah, I mean, I, I could just go across the mountain. I've done that like a couple times, right, where you just go across the mountain and drop someone. But I don't know, I'm usually not in the mood to do that. I kind of like just, you know, going south, recruiting all the green units. And ha having a big scrap down below, I don't actually mind recruiting Marissa and spawning all the reinforcements because, you know, it's a lot of promoted units. It's a lot of content, in my opinion, right? It's content so, and EXP. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I don't know. It's, it's what I go for. You know, I, as we just loaded into this map, I was thinking about, like, the stealables that are on the map that you can take from, like, the enemy uh, Pegasus Knight reinforcements. From, there's, like, a couple red gems on this map, too. Oh, really? And I was like, yeah, there's, like, a red gem on the Sleep Priest, I think. Uh, and I was thinking to so myself, here. Like, I think our comb would oh, have here. enough speed to get it, though. Oh, yeah, that one. What Does about the Sleep him? Priest? Isn't there one on him, too? Uh, no. No, uh, he has I know torch. there's a Talisman or something on a Pegasus Knight somewhere. Uh, yeah. The reinforcement. Yeah, the, re the reinforcements. And I was thinking, like, man, I wonder if we should have, like, brought comb here for the stealables. Because we, like, we're not thinking about that at all when we're no. thinking about where to bring comb or stealables. Did we even get anything on Ephraim Root as far as steel goes? Uh, I don't think so, probably did we? Not. I think we just kind of treated him as a filler. But, you know, mm -hmm. that's uh, that's behind us now. Let's focus on the on the map at hand, though, because, again, we have a lot to do. Uh, yeah. Like you said, the, the objective is going to be for us to get Erika over to the fort where Ines and friends are, because er Erika has to talk to Ines if Tana's not here. And I think for that purpose, we have to be aggressive. And for our team to be aggressive, we kind of only have Seth, and everyone else is really frail. And we talked a little bit about that last episode. I think we have to, like, mega boost Vanessa to make this happen. So we're going to promote some units, and we're going to hand up some stat boosters. So let's promote Vanessa, level 14 promotion. Mm -hmm. I think she was about on par with most of her stats. We're going to Wyvern Knight again, because I think we need all the speed we can get specifically for the strategy to work. Because uh, Wyvern is just effectively much faster than uh, Falcon Knight, contrary to what you might think based on their class stereotypes. Like, the combo boost is just so massive. I think you call it... Yeah. That's like plus 6 AS right there, isn't it? When using yeah, a javelin. Yeah, plus 6. Damn. When using... And it's like it's plus four when you're using an iron lance too right mm -hmm. so like even that's still 
pretty incredible. Yeah. Like, no Sacred Stones promotion is that good. <laughs> right? Agreed. And then we can use some other stat boosts here. We need the bulk, and I think we need the offense as well to give her the mercenaries in time. You'll probably see the staff benchmarks matter the most. So we have a lot of staff boosts. I think we should just hand them out, and this is one of the best candidates for it. So we'll get this. This. Yeah, sorry. This. If it wasn't Vanessa, it'd honestly be Seth like, yeah. as the best candidate. But... I agree. And we have two Draper Shields. I think we should give one to her oh, as well. Yeah. Yeah, one to her, absolutely, yeah. Mega boost. It's not really two like, OP Pegasus Knights. Mm -hmm. Yeah, someone's wondering, like, oh, is, is this or Tana? Which one's going to be better? I mean, probably Tana, realistically yes. speaking. <laughs> I guess we could, like, get 30 amazing level ups in a row, or mm -hmm. 19 in a row, but even then, like, we don't mind mm -hmm. having another amazing Wyvern Knight. Yes. Let's so. also promote our, our Flunky Ross, because clearly his last level ups were not good enough for him to be a long term combat unit, so yeah. say hello to Dazla, too goodness it, it, like i think we literally looked at his stats and they were pretty much exactly dazzler too right yeah you compared them <laughs> it's like dude I don't, I don't remember the exact add up but i'm pretty sure it's going to be one point faster than dazzler with this promotion oh it's because it's speed mm -hmm. tight actually wow unless dazzler gains speed somehow his hp is probably lower too and then uh, i have my hatchet on dazzler you know you know why i left it on him because the effort rotor units are just going to spawn in to uh the desert map later so i kind of want them to be armed you know what i mean Oh, so literally they just have their whole inventory. Who has the convoy then? Is it both lords or is it just Erica? I think it's both. Okay, that's good. I was about, that'd be so troll if they just spawn in and Ephraim mm -hmm. has no convoy. It's yeah. just like have no weapons. There's yeah. like 10 of them down there. That'd be awful. Though with this Vanessa, we could salvage it more easily than, than normal. Let's promote Ford as well, as much as I hate to do it. Might as well get a better flunky out of it. You know, if he's always one point short, does this put him on like al almost always one rank chaos? <laughs> yeah, no, there was like a lot of times it was really short. And those other ones, but I mean, maybe Paladin promotion will do it. Yeah, I think chapter ten is when we and I emphasize when we didn't have a lot of promoted units, so this should make it relatively easier to deal with. Yeah, I think we like specifically we decided not to promote the units going into ten. Like, yeah, we can mm -hmm. get by, but yeah. you, know, you know, we're kind of cheating in a way because it's like, you know, oftentimes when you promote units early, you're somewhat worried about their long-term prospects, but, like, we literally know what the Ephraim army contains, mm -hmm. alright? Like, yeah. why are we afraid of yeah. that? I think I'm gonna leave Archer as is. I don't think he's super significant on the map either way, and I think it makes sense to just leave him as is for that reason. Because we, we're gonna promote him for next map for sure, because that's when the monsters start appearing, but I don't mm -hmm. think we need to promote him right now. And Natasha kind of can promotes, agree. Erica kind of promotes, Gilliam is not gonna be fielded. <laughs> so, get him off here. Because I don't want to like have to babysit him through the map. I think he'd be more of a liability in this one. I and... agree with all these decisions. Do you think we do anything with the rest of these boosters right now? Um, I mean, it's kind of them? unclear. This is like a lot of power, right? Yeah, and is. does Draco Shield Seth actually kind of like accomplish anything here? I don't think so. I mean, it means, it means mm -hmm. he has to fall less. With I mean, little... sixteen is a lot, right? Like. Mm -hmm. I think he doubles everything he needs to, or... speed wing-wise. Uh, so like one mark, but whatever. Okay, we can leave yeah, the rest 16. for later. Uh, and I need Seth to be here. And... Yeah, I was looking at it, and like, Draco Shield Seth does take zero from these mercenaries, compared to our current Seth takes like two, which is a neat party trick, but like, how valuable <laughs> is that really? <laughs> That's a good like... way to put it. Okay, I think this setup is uh, the way it needs to be. I have a turn one plan in mind, I'm just not sure if I... Uh... If I'm executing it well, but there's always the reset button if we get it wrong. So yeah, let's see it. Let's uh, do some animations on. And let's try it out. So, like I said, the plan is going to involve Vanessa uh, busting through here. And we gave her some of that stuff just so she can wander around the mercenaries with the Silver Lance. This is our only Silver Lance. We also have a Killer Lance somewhere, but, you know, got to use it somewhere. Take this mage out because we can't enemy phase him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I personally think that the Silver Lance is like best used in this chapter, right? This is kind of the last, well, not the last one, but I guess next chapter counts too. We have a lot of time pressure, but mm -hmm. we'll have enough Silver Lance left over for next chapter that we should be fine, right? Like, yeah. we'll be okay. Yeah, and we have a full Killer Lance that Ford is carrying around for us as well for like higher weapon needs. And then we'll have Seth use a Steel Sword to take out this Hand Axe uh, fighter. Mm -hmm. That's the only Axe enemy in this area, so Vanessa is now like totally safe. She just Gosh, has look to at fight. how little damage he takes. Yeah. Um, He's, I mean, we know Seth is good, but it's nice to re-emphasize it every now and then. And we have to leave this corridor open a little bit, but that's okay. We can put Ross in there. I don't think they'll attack him ever, mm -hmm. but it's nice if he's close to the action. Short Slayer will just like deter him from going for him. And then I'm going to have Ford go out of character and do something useful, which is pick up Erica. 
Because I don't want Vanessa to be weighed down, but I do want Vanessa to carry her down there eventually. And then we'll just park the rest of them around here. Yeah, we can use the old give command to just kind of boost Erica forward a ton next turn, right? Yes, that is the plan. So to say, I thought I saw a, a setup for a give command there. We'll see. All right, Vanessa, she's going to double. Yes. Oh, of course she is. Look at her go. Yeah. With this plus six AS. <laughs> yeah, Falcon Knight being slower is weird, mm -hmm. but true. I like how they're attacking Vanessa over Seth because Seth takes even less damage despite the lack of weapon triangle advantage. <laughs> yeah, no. I know, uh, like, the, the primary advantage to Falcon Knight usually is, like, the, the aid. The aid formula is more yeah. advantageous to Falcon Knight. Having less con is actually just better mm -hmm. in that in that regard, right? But I don't really think we kind of need that boost. I mean, like, maybe it's... Actually, I was about to say it's hard to pick up Ross, but I just saw we have 13 con on him now, which is... No, Vanessa can't pick that up, but, like, who cares? I know we can't pick up Ross. Mm -hmm. Like, come on. Yeah, can't the... pick up Ross, probably can't pick up Garrick. The heaviest units are Dussel and Dawson. They're both in the other units, I think, on the other route. I guess Garrick is a good candidate to pick up, especially if he goes yeah. hero. Mm -hmm. He's actually the one I was thinking about when I was looking at these stat boosters, mm -hmm. right? Oh, but hmm. I mean, could do that. Ooh. Okay, where is this mage? Yeah, interesting here. Where did he go? Okay, perfect. <laughs> that is yeah. such a funny <laughs> spot for him. All right, it's so just an odd place. So just moving it. Hey, what's up, Ines? <laughs> He's gonna chill out here. I think Garrick is not gonna move, right? Not right away. I think he moves when he sees that he has a legal attack, as you would put it. So yeah, he yeah. can do it right now, but next turn they'll be up here and then he'll start moving. And the problem with Garrick is if he moves for a soldier, he phases three, if not four attacks, and he gets like three shot by them. Uh, let me just double check that. So Iron Lance, Iron Lance, Steel Lance. So 20, 20, and 24. So that's like 60 something. Uh, you mm -hmm. know the rest, right? Minus 30. Yeah, he dies. Right. Yeah, it's like... I'm using the raisins. It's a formula. lot. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. so now, because we did all this, we can have Ford give Erica to Vanessa. And I think uh, we can't, like, have Vanessa use I think a physic is worth it here. I think a physic yeah. is worth it too, yes. Just do this. Just top it off. We're going to be, like, so deep in enemy territory for so long that, like, it, this extra 16 HP right now is pretty good. Yeah, much agreed. All right, and it also gets Natasha closer to 10, I guess, although we don't have... Oh, we, we are getting another guy in ring, so I guess we will have the mm -hmm. option to promote her. Where are we going right and not left? Um, that is actually, a good question. I mean, this is right closer, better. I guess, but this is further away from most enemies, so I kind of like going left, actually, mm -hmm. if we can get there. It'll take Erica two turns to get to Ines regardless, right? Actually... Yeah. If so it's... trying to, like, hmm. begin with the end in mind, I, I think it's Garrick who moves first and then Inns, or is it actually Inns who moves first and then Garrick? I, I don't actually know, because Inns is like the lord of that group, so to yeah. speak, yeah? It would make sense if he moved first. Uh, he might want to heal himself. I don't think his healing guy is that it's conservative, though, so I think he might just go for it. Plus, he gets four mm -hmm. healing. I like the idea of going yeah. left, actually. It will also not trigger Marissa for a turn, I think, because the line is right here. So if we drop Erica here as opposed to... Well, actually, that doesn't matter in this case. Yeah, it's the same distance. I'm actually... The thing is, I'm saying, like, where are you going right? But then since I'm looking at it, I'm actually kind of liking right the more I look at it. And here's the thing, right? Um, We kind of have this, like, extra play where because Inns and Garrick are green units, really Inns is a green unit. He's the one we're going to recruit, mm -hmm. right? You can actually totally like pick him up and drop him on the turn you're going to recruit him, and when you move to Talk, he'll still have his he'll still have his action. Yeah. Right. So just the fact that we have Vanessa and Seth present there is like it's gonna be it's gonna make it really easy to recruit Inns because we can just use Rescue Drop. Well, yeah, I'm planning having Seth do more work over here though. Like, I don't think Seth needs to go down at all. I think Seth needs to be here to fight off these enemies. Oh really? Hmm. Well, I mean, he doesn't have right. to, but that's the way I planned it. It doesn't necessarily so. have to be the best play. In that case, Erica probably has to go right. Actually, yeah. um, one error or one one problem I have is that we might not be able to use Vanessa to interfere with the soldiers if she goes left, depending on where they go exactly. They'll yeah, right is just better here. They should go up here, and Vanessa will be here. I guess she will attack like one soldier. She want, I think she wants to kill the the Steel Lance one, preferably because he has the most attack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if we drop, we just rescue or we just recruit Inns and mm -hmm. Garrick next turn, right? So, yeah. I should probably disarm Erica here, but I forgot. I should have just left her with no weapons, because now there's a javelin soldier that can like reach her. But oh well. Uh, let me yeah, whatever. Javelin, so that this fighter gets countered. And then... 
four. Oh, four is in range as well. That's honestly, that's probably fine if the fighter goes here. And yeah, we back. would rather prefer he go for forward. Yes, and I think at this point Vanessa should be bulkier. Thirty-two and nine. Oh, huh, actually, four is bulkier. Well, that's I think it's fine either way. That's um, right. You're, you're going to find a way to spin this in Vanessa's favor, right? So. <laughs> Let me see. So Seth doesn't one round this fighter, I think, unfortunately, at range. And I don't want to give him an excuse to use his killer axe. Mm -hmm. so I don't want to have Javelin Seth in range. Now Seth is one short. What? Yes. Which paladin do we select? <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. Uh, <laughs> we can just go in with an Iron Lance for this turn. Just like just for accuracy's sake. Just go like... We could go range of the Archer. He's not going to range of the Archer, so he doesn't move. Doesn't he take just no damage from like the three mercs? I mean, it doesn't take damage from Myrmidon for sure. The Mercs, we don't need to do like two damage, right? 21 attack. Yeah, Steel Sword. Attack. Steel Sword. Yeah, they, like, yeah, with... they actually do damage to him. It's five and six. Yeah, that's a lot, actually. I think Iron Lance is okay. The, the, the fighter will probably go for him if he does, which might be good for us, because I want to kill him before he has a chance to use his Killer Axe. So like yeah, this seems pretty good. Yeah, sure. And then Ross, we can put him in range of the Myrmidon without any worries because, again, they don't like attacking him anyway. He has that when they have that Deathly Sword Slayer equipped. <laughs> that Sword Slayer, yeah. It's such a. I was I was shocked how good that weapon was last map. Like, dude. Oh, what? This guy moves? I didn't know. Yeah, there's one soldier that moves and one that doesn't. They're not twins. One of them is the okay. gatekeeper and one of them is the imposter. You can one tell of them because always he's red. tells the truth. That's right. Wait, <laughs> yeah. the other one's red too. <laughs> Which one of you doesn't move? Is it the dorky guy, I think? No, it's not. The other guy is the dorky guy. Yeah. The yeah. anti soft lock guy. Okay, so this one will get weakened. I think to the point where even Ford can kill. The 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 rules of the universe do not apply once Seth has chipped an enemy. Okay. Yeah, so Garrick will attack here. And Innes probably will too. Yeah, probably both of them down there. What the heck? I'm actually Seth? curious, which one does move first? Yeah, we'll we'll find what? out. Uh, Seth is not hey, two-shotting, what? what the heck? What do you what, what do you what the heckin'? I, I was I was what the heckin' the fact that Seth is not two-shotting this uh this mercenary with the Iron Lands. If but, we look at Ford and he has more strength than Seth, so he like <laughs> Seth is one short and Ford is not. Like, what's going on? Massive. They hacks hurt. the ROM. It's yes. opposite day. Any more Seth I should know about? No. Oh, this is fine. Okay, like everyone dodged everything, so like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think. Okay, so Innes gets the Ford healing, but then who moves, right? Oh yeah! Oh, are you God, serious? Why? He does that. I don't know why. I saw that too. I was are like, you is he really serious? that conservative? Like, why? Why are you like this, dude? You could have just saved Garrick from dying, but no, he didn't. He decided no. I, That's today, the I heal worst CH. thing I've ever seen. Are you no? <laughs> Good unit. Why guys. would you do that? <laughs> Good unit, guys. Good unit. So if he didn't get that mage turn one, he wouldn't have done that because he would have been a full HP. He would have just killed the soldier oh here. Oh my god! What a goofball. Well. Okay, well, what's going on here? We can just, like, use Erica and Tana to, like, take these guys out, maybe? Uh, Erica but then kill Garrick is, like, Garrick is miles ahead. Yeah, I think we move Erica towards Inns. I think if we kill one soldier, then we're totally fine for this turn. Because mm -hmm. Garrick is not at death door yet. He might even heal himself. He's also injured. I mean, he might, I'm thinking he might have the same AI as Inez, right? And then... If we put Vanessa if like... up, she just doesn't kill the soldier. And then Garrick, well, he's, the soldier will probably get suicide on Garrick. And mm -hmm. then Garrick will move down, unfortunately. Maybe... Well, you we can't leave the soldier alive, because then they'll kill Garrick. Rescue Garrick? No, I can't do that. She's too yeah. heavy. It's too thick. Should've gone Falcon Knight. There you go. I think we just kill one soldier and hope that Garrick doesn't get too far ahead of us. Uh, actually... Wait, what's, what's Garrick's con? Yes. I was wondering if it, uh... Yeah, Falcon Knight actually would've done it, so... Yeah. You know, we're over um, here. I think, um, actually, if they don't murder him, which I think they do, I'm thinking of trying to think of a way of, like, have Garrick's attack these soldiers, but his turn comes first, so, and we can't physic him. He's, like, one out of range, I think. Yeah. yeah. In's turn comes first, right? So. Not true, I guess. Doesn't it? Yeah, Innes will go first, but not before these soldiers. I'm thinking, like, yeah, what if we just leave one of the soldiers alive and, like, I guess Garrick might heal himself if he gets hit by a soldier. That might be our best shot. Yeah, that's kind or of what I'm thinking too. we expose Erica to one soldier that is alive, and they'll probably go for Erica or in it or Garrick. Either Garrick heals himself because he got so injured, or he attacks a soldier that attacked Erica, kills them, and then he's still in place. Oh yeah, true. Like we can just sit here, like put Erica on that square, like completely unequipped, right? Mm -hmm. And then just you know a soldier. Oh, then there will be guaranteed Garrick. two soldiers alive. You're right. 
Yeah, unless they... And then, like... Yeah. Well, I guess kinda at that dies, point... kind of dies, though. <laughs> she kind of dies. No, no, no. We leave her unequipped on the stairs. Right? Oh, yeah, like, yeah. That, that works. So, yeah. we, we do that. I'm actually trying to think of a way to make sure that, like, Garrick does not go for the fighter ever. Like, is there is there something we can do to accomplish that? And it's moved first, right? Yeah. Oh. Well, we can unequip Vanessa, I guess. Then there's two soldiers. Yeah, that's one thing. It's like, unequip Vanessa, there's two soldiers, and like... But the thing is, like, this fighter in the south is going to come up here and be in range of Garrick, and so, like, how do we ensure that... You know, he doesn't go south? Or maybe that just doesn't matter, right? Um, maybe no matter where Garrick goes, he's fine. Uh, Garrick might like the fact that he won around soldiers, but not fighters. Oh, does he one more of the soldiers, but doesn't one around the fighters? Yeah, the fighter is too fast for him. He's 10 speed, and Garrick has 13 base speed, and he's weighed down with Iron Blade. So that Whoa. could be a solution. I guess we try that. Okay. Yeah, let's, yeah. let's try it. I kind of want to save state after we get Garrick, because it's such a huge hurdle to get over the map. So I would like to save state here, but I think I'd rather save state next turn, if we can get Yeah, no, it. after that ridiculous elixir, mm -hmm. I have no idea what happened. Inns, like, mm -hmm. heard that Ephraim got a score of 3 mm -hmm. on elixir golf or something, and he's like, oh, no. Mm -hmm. Just decided... So, do we throw Erica's stuff on Vanessa, or do we throw it in the convoy, or do we just leave her as is? Uh, I think I'd rather... Hmm, oh, that's a good question, because, like, we've got to make sure... What if we weaken Vanessa's a soldier, good. like, really, really hard, to make it more tempting for Garrick? Yeah, that's true. I wonder if, like, we weaken it so hard that he just procs healing AI, because there is a physic priest in the back, uh, right? Oh, true. Uh, if one runs away, that's not bad either, is it? Nah, that is kind of bad, I guess. Yeah, we can't do that. Wait, doesn't uh, is there like a melee weapon that Vanessa can use that doesn't one round KO? Uh, yeah, I suppose Iron doesn't kill both. Maybe we can get a slim from the convoy, perhaps. I think I have a slim. Yeah, here. I think because I actually do really value keeping the items on Vanessa because we're gonna need to attack with her next turn, mm -hmm. right? So I have a slim. That way, here. just get the slim. There we go. Oh, I was I wondering guess. if we could like use the horse's layer and just weigh her <laughs> down, <laughs> right? Uh, there's no way you can weigh yourself enough to not double soldiers. I'm pretty sure. I think this is a good tile to be on. It gets us anywhere. Dying range of the archer. Yeah, she's just way too fast for that. Okay. And on here, there's like a beautiful mix here. I think Seth just has to kill this fighter from wherever. Doesn't really matter where. And then maybe we trade him a javelin to the top and watch him kill things. I know it's a very novel idea that no one's ever thought of, but I think it's Yeah, no. Work. Brand new Sacred Stone strategy. <laughs> Brand new here. Sacred Stone strat. <laughs> Maybe uh, Natasha trades him, heals him a little bit, and then gets rescued out by Ford and Ross as they go out of range. This seems like a good way to do it. Because the rescue dropping is being done by like one away now. Yeah, that's way good. Or we can dump the Steel Sword now, but I think we kind of want to keep it for Brigands later. We just dump this uh, Killer Axe for now. Uh, yeah, exactly. Ross already has one. And we give him a jam. Remember there a second, like, what's Sephram's Axe? Or Sephram's? What's Seth's Axe rank? Like, <laughs> no, totally wrong game. 57. Um, okay, so we need to be. Kind of, we just need to be roughly where Arthur is again with these units. So we'll go here, uh, trade the javelin to the top, heal up to the max, whoop, whoop. and then uh, forward, grab Natasha, go back a little bit, and then we just drop her down so she can heal Seth again next turn, I guess. Mm -hmm. Oh, I totally forgot Arthur could like pick yeah, up Natasha. Yeah, he well. can do it too. And we can use Ross for something else if we want to. We don't really need to. Uh, we can have him again be in range of this Merc. It doesn't matter. Can we have him go in here and, like, assassinate this archer with the Sword Slayer, or...? I guess. He never moves, so I don't really feel tempted to fight him, and I'd rather have Ross available closer to the action, I think, so maybe here is just mm -hmm. the best, best spot for him. Yeah, all right. Hey, you're up! The Crimson Flash. Yeah. This is because we put, I think, Erica, no, um, Vanessa, where we did. Yeah. Okay, so... One so of them. Maybe both of them. So why do these guys have Slim Swords, of all things? I feel like it's just done to, like, annoy archer users. <laughs> They just crit them. I don't know. Yeah, I think, like, like maybe the maybe the devs really thought some swords are really good. Uh -huh. Oh wait, is he okay? Um, did we just not kill a soldier and realize? Oh, well, yeah, he's he's totally not okay. He needs to dodge here. He's um, he's kind of dead. He's fried. Yes, he he dies. Bro. Right yeah, we just forgot to just kill. You had to kill a soldier to keep Garrick alive all the way. Through. Yeah, we big game. Totally forgot about that fact. Yeah, <laughs> we were like, oh, let's make sure the Garrick AI is properly manipulated. No, no, no. Oh, actually, he just dies. Yeah, just like, soldiers. <laughs> this whole forgot about his to get him in here. Oh my goodness. I know there's already going to be like three guys in the comments. Like, oh they haven't God. even got to this point in the video, but they've already commented, No! No! <laughs> Garrick's going to die! <laughs> yeah, I guess we just have to count on one soldier working then. All right, well, be right yeah. back. Yeah, be right back. <laughs> so I'll just play through this real quick. I have a recording on in case something really funny happens.
Yeah, yeah. But there's no such thing as a funny thing happening, so... What? Alright, so it looks like this time everyone cooperated, uh, the mage didn't go for the person he normally does, so he was in a different space. He went for Seth instead of Vanessa, I think probably because Vanessa dodged more or something, and then he's, yeah. like, Vanessa, Seth was a better target, and then he was out of range of Ines, so Ines was at full HP, and he was able to go in here and kill an extra soldier for us. Plus, like, this is a little different too, so this should all be more smooth. And we can just go recruit this whole squad. I think we can only get Ines first, and then you have to get the other guys first. Do you think there's like an optimal order here? Not really, right? Uh, there's like... You can do Ines talk to Garrick, and then Garrick talk to Tethys, and then dance whomever. Or, like, Ines can talk to either one, and then either one can talk to each other. That's the idea. I think, like, having Tethys open is maybe the best. Well, I think if I had Tethys open, i just dance for Garrick and promote him, honestly. <laughs> so, it probably ends so up with an extra turn for Garrick anyway, probably. Hmm. That makes sense, yeah. Okay. We'll grab these units and talk about them a little bit. Ines, are you well? Hey, Erica, is that you? Oh my god, I can't believe you're going to recruit Emrissa. It's so dangerous, bro. Yeah, no, All no right. way. Okay, so it, if we're just talking to... If we're just going to instant promote Garrick, then talking to Tethys is better. Yes, I think so too. So talk here to Tethys. Mm -hmm. uh, she's not arranged a ballista yet. If, like, very dumb things happen if they if that happens. So just go here. Talk to Garrick. Good news and better news, and then we have the whole squad is in our possession. There we go. That's great. All three. Which means you can talk about the whole squad. How about we do the best one first? <clears throat> Garrick here, and he has a stat screen too. Here we go. Uh, Garrick, I call him the best one because he is the only unit in here that can do massive enemy phase combat and come out on top almost all the time. He has ridiculously good bases, and the game really wants you to early promote him. You know, base level of exactly 10 and a hero crest. And he has one of the most interesting promotions, possibly in all of Fire Emblem, but definitely within Sacred Stones, whereas you can either get a horse or a one to range weapon in the hand axe. You can either go Bow Knight or what's called Ranger, or you can go Hero. And both of those are fairly good. I think Hero is slightly better because I think one to range is so important in a game where hitting thresholds to one round, both with attack and attack speed, is fairly easy, and Garrett kind of does it at base. So I think in that case, you just want to be a hero and have one less move, but with the benefit of being able to kill possibly twice as many enemies every turn. I think that's much better. Uh, but I know there's some people who like Ranger 2, and I get why, because longbow utility is fun. Um, bows have their special kind of things that you can do with it. And of course, being mounted, you need to get Kanto and Rescue Drop utility and all that. Uh, either way, Garrick is just very strong, very bulky. Uh, enough speed to double a lot of vanilla. I think he'll fall short on a th couple things here and there in Lunatic, where he would not have vanilla. And I think that's going to be his main limiter. But because we lack so many forces in Erika that we would normally have, I think we, this is just, it's a slight problem, but it's one we have to deal with and probably will be fairly easy to deal with. I think we even have a speed wing remaining. We could give to him if we want to, or any of these other resources we discussed earlier. So no matter what happens, I think Garrick will be a massive asset to our army. What do you think? Yeah, I totally agree. I just think as well with this unit, uh, whether you get them, whether you get them on Erika mode, whether you get them on Ephra mode, the early promotion is just like so good. Right? It just completely activates him as a unit. It turns him from this guy who has like five move and no one to range. And like it totally fixes one of those two issues, right? It's it's so good, the early promotion on this guy. Uh, as far as like hero and ranger goes, I kind of agree and leaning towards hero, especially looking now at the gains. Uh, hero just gets more speed. And so it kind of makes it easier for him to not fall off in combat, right? And I know that even then, like just 15 strength, 15 speed, 15 con, which is what he's going to have, is just so good for such a long period of time. I actually really like that as well. Um, you did kind of address people, you know, liking Ranger for the longbow utility, liking Ranger for the Kanto. I think, I, I do think it's a pretty good option. Like, I agree. It's one of like the kind of more balanced promotion choices across the entire series. 
and like that, that's pretty elegant but here for this run i think like probably hero is the best to kind of like keep his combat uh in in tip-top shape i'm beginning to wonder if doing so is like having too many combat units for this route right because we kind of already have vanessa who's really good seth who's really good and order who's really good actually there's only three maybe this is totally fine what do you think <laughs> Yeah, I guess our Erica is fairly good, but she's going to fall off no matter how good our stats are here. Uh, she's basically mm -hmm. roughly as good as Garrick is, probably. Uh, yeah. Before he chins up on horse. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> All right, so that's Garrick. Then we have Inns as well. Uh, I'm gonna, mm -hmm. I keep calling him Inns because it's what I'm used to. I think Reigns is used to calling him Inns, but we are talking about the same person, Prince Inns yep. from Frelia. Uh, stats are kind of similar to Garrick in a lot of ways, except he's a sniper instead of an unpromoted mercenary, so... I think that says a lot about him as his stat lineup. I think Inez has good uh, utility in this portion of the game. I think for the first three or four maps that you have him, you're very glad you do when you don't have any better units to deploy. Especially in our case, where a lot of your units are on FM routes, so they're not available to deploy instead of Inez here. But uh, regardless of what happens, I think Inez is someone who, in the long term, just ends up being a little bit short of what you need a unit to be, especially just able to fight on enemy phase. is just such a big thing in Sacred Stones. I do think there's a place for him in Lunatic mode where a meaty chip to supplement someone who is coming short on combat is useful. Uh, being able to just provide like 27 damage with the Silver Bow at base is massive. I can give him a weaker weapon, he'll probably still do a lot of damage. So, and like I said earlier, the Longbow is available. I have one in Convoy, I'll probably get another one somewhere in this map or next couple chapters. So there's there's going to be something for Innes to do for the next few maps, but I think at some point we'll probably end up undeploying him in favor of better units, especially once the route split is over. But again, for you, you don't have to train at all. This is pretty good utility, I think, right? Yeah, exactly. I, I totally agree. I think there's like a zero percent chance we deploy him after routes, but he would have to get like the most amazing level ups ever, and even then, I think we would be like maybe bench him, right? Yeah. Like, it's just the, the the limitation of only being able to attack at two range. It, you did bring up in in lunatic, it might end up being a bit better here. Like the thing is, I don't really know. Kind of looking at the enemies we fought in Ephraim route. And maybe it's because we just haven't fought many promoted enemies. It didn't really seem like the stat benchmarks that we need to reach were like that much higher, especially since because, or sorry, especially since all the defensive stats have not really been altered except for HP, right? Yeah. So the, the big thing is, I guess, it's increased enemy speed stops you from doubling, maybe. Yeah. So I guess like a big silver bow hit could really help there. I mean, I wonder. I, the, the thing about ends is, I always keep track of his silver bow. Yeah, and like to see whether or not the silver bow even runs out because like sometimes he doesn't even get twenty combats to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like in a lot of runs. I mean, if he doubles, you only need ten to break it, right? Mm, I guess. Yeah, it's funny because that doesn't even get him to S rank bows if he just breaks his silver bow. Yeah, no. <laughs> Gotta use but... a short, short bow to get there. All right, and uh, last but not least, we have a dancer now finally in Tethys. I think we have elaborated on how good dancers are in any, every other game, and Sacred Stones is very not different. And having won this early in Chapter 10 is a massive blessing, as, you know, we could just get extra turns on our best units, and sometimes that's Seth killing something, uh, sometimes that might be Ardor or Natasha healing someone, uh, it might be Ephraim killing another guy later on, or Dussel. Uh, just copy your best action, and, you know, dance for good. Uh, Lunatic enemies will probably want to kill Tethys almost every time, so we're gonna have to keep her out of range very diligently. But, you know, Tethys at least has a decent res growth, so if we really take a long time, she gets a lot of level up, she'll survive some magical attacks, maybe? But maybe. generally, just don't put her in range, it'll hurt you no matter what you do. So just, you know, dance people, dance for good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I mean, we've been over this, like, as far as, every time we see a dancer, we do the interview, we're like, dude, this is a dancer, obviously, but, I mean, you gotta remember, it's not just, like, a copy of your best unit, it's a copy of your best unit of that turn. Right, so like you can flexibly change it depending on what the turn needs. I I do remember going through like Ephraim chapter fourteen, and it seems like every turn we were like, "Dude, where's our dancer?" Yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> like why don't we have Tethys? Uh -huh. It like it totally sucks not having her. So uh -huh. I just think the Ephraim or the Ephraim route maps are kind of a little bit better for a dancer, although she appears they were like really late for it. Actually, maybe not. Yeah, uh, it's, it's just thirteen and fourteen, but in those maps alone, it is very apparent. Yeah, it's like it's it's so good. I will say she's kind of cool in like having a fire affinity and the fire affinity does like oh yeah very quickly build up with a lot of units but i mean i don't i don't really know exactly how much that's going to come up yeah i thought we'd do more with supports in this playthrough but uh it's been fast enough where we haven't needed supports or haven't been able to build them up a whole lot but if we want to get a thunder fire support between garrick and Tethys, i think we totally could 
Yeah, it's it's like yeah. a it's like a cool option. So it is definitely a good option. We, she's also unique among GBA dancers in that she can attack, but <laughs> we're not doing that, I think. Okay, we have a funny option here. If we kill this soldier with uh, Nessa, we can then have Garrick stand on the stairs and promote, and that will let him any phase one of the fighters. And with his promotion bonus, he should be able to one-round this guy. We can even put him like oh, further yeah. down, but then he's in range of three more enemies, and he hasn't healed yet. So I think that might yep. kill him. Will they have the bulk? He'll have uh, 13 defense, and I don't actually know if you get the HP. Do you? Uh... I don't know. I feel like it changes from time to time. Yeah, it kind of does. I want to say you don't, but even if he does, let's let's assume he doesn't for a moment, right? Like mm -hmm. this is 23, 23, uh, with a triangle on 16. So that's like 50 something. That's 11 and 11. The X fighters kill him. Yeah. Okay, so let's just say we fight one X fighter. That's like, he's out of range of the archer. There's no drawbacks there. Please do that. Mm -hmm. We could also get weapons from Erica first, but I think we just have Erica's turn for that next turn anyway. Yeah, I think Which... we're uh, the steel blade is like kind of weird, but it's a it's a fine weapon for now, right? Mm -hmm. Just okay. So we'll dive bomb on that guy. No we'll damage is on for Garrick's enemy phase. So we'll go on the stairs and promote to hero because I think in this playthrough I think it makes sense to go hero. We yeah, no, just have like the stronger combat. Yeah, the main thing I really hate uh, for this army right now is they don't have anyone who has like good one to range with some bulk that can fight uh, hand axe brigands. Like, at the top, you're gonna see there's still a bunch of those coming down from the mountains, and just everyone equipping a javelin is just totally nerfed against him. Yeah. <laughs> and Argon doesn't have the bulk, so having Garrett for that later might be helpful. If not for this map, then maybe for later maps. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this guy's- Yeah, no, just having now. like a good fighting unit, right? Mm -hmm. Like, this seems pretty nice. I'm wondering if this is where we throw Arger somewhere here to get the hand axe fighter, but I think that's too risky. Uh, I think we just let him come up again. Uh, maybe just... It's a little awkward. Uh, I, I want to use Iron Lance against all these clowns. But... Even though it doesn't... Oh gosh, that's yeah, so bad. it's kind of bad. What if we use Ross for these somehow? Like Ross... Oh, maybe in this corner tile over here? Yeah, that's out of range yeah, of everything he doesn't want to be in range of. It's so like, pretty good. Ross here with Sword Slayer. And then, I mean, maybe they won't attack him if I put Seth in range. But this lets me put, like, Seth here. Which is in range of these two one range enemies to get him out of the way. Mm hmm. Or Ford? I, oh, Ford can be here too. It, he will probably not one round both of these enemies. Do you remember when, which one of these he attacked first? Because I don't. Uh, I have no idea. Okay. I really wasn't paying attention to that. Nah, that's fair. I, that's fair. I'm gonna. I don't think I can physic anyone relevant here, so let me heal up whoever's injured here. Boop, boop. Hey, level oh, nine Natasha again. level? No way. Hey, hey. Hey, actually pretty good. Hey, not getting doubled. I kind of don't want to put Seth like behind a forest here, but whatever. I, I think one arming this guy is nice. So we'll go here. Ross will get these two, which is... He's, he does better than Seth at these. And then, yeah, I think this is good. And we just keep the other range of the archer. We don't have to hurry in getting him, I don't think. Yeah, no, we're totally fine. Now move harder towards this spot, so we can maybe want to range something later and we just have Fort hide. Yeah, okay, that's what I'm gonna try. Hey, you're up. You're up! Okay. Okay, so Seth takes out the Killer Axe guy. That's great. So now we get the Killer Axe. Oh yeah, we get the Killer Axe again. Yeah, nice. Again. <laughs> he usually... Ross already has one because we bought one from the Secret Shop, I think, or we got one from from route. But oh yeah, it. no. I, I actually uh, forgot to ask, like, what all did you buy from the Secret Shop? Uh... I mean, you were Maybe there, this right? Is a bad time. What? Oh yeah, no, totally we did. Because we, we sold the spear. Yeah, we got the whip. Uh, I, I want to say, I'm not sure. I don't think we bought a guiding ring. I think we bought some killer weapons. I bought the killer lance. It's in my convoy right now. We bought the physic too. I remember yes, that. Yes, that's true. A good reca recap, though. Okay, so we got these two. Yeah, I like this. Golly, he's so good. <laughs> you can do this one specific thing. It's super nice. And if I we think it's really good, we can use one of our six hammer and charges to repair it if we want to. Oh, true. Someone in the comments pointed out we have six, right? And I think they were like really excited we could use the hammer and on the hammer and like, well, we can't do that, but we do have six hammers, right? So. <laughs> yep. Unfortunately, you cannot. They thought of everything. They gave you an extra hammer in the post game. They're like, no, you're not. You're not hammering the hammer. I was so excited for that as a kid. I saw like on Serenez that Lion joined to the hammer and I was like, no way! Mm -hmm. <laughs> I grounded out my three Lagdo ruins and I mm -hmm. tried it. I was so disappointed. Mm -hmm. So. Much agreements. But it did have infinite use Nagelfar, right? Mm -hmm. So like that was pretty cool. Yeah, I can't complain about that. 
do I have... Okay, I didn't put Restore on Natasha. So if this Sleep Ooh. Priest gets us, then we kind of need Restore to be over here. We're just got, right? Do we have one in Convoy, or...? I think we do. I can check with Inz. Inzy. Yeah, we, we like, kind of need yeah, to know this. Some. Oh, we got plenty, yeah. Yeah, I Restore... I, I Wait, how many torches? What? <laughs> there's, there's no more leftover torches. It's okay. It's over. There's like four of them. <laughs> ah, it's not that many. It's not like, that many what? Fog maps? Uh, yeah, you're right. Like, uh, that's pretty good, it. actually. Don't question it. Don't question it. It's like, like my inventory, to be honest. Okay, <laughs> um, okay so we can nearly yeah. get that guy. You can get that guy with Erica. That could be kind of cool. Because then we also oh, have, to so good. You have the opportunity to also give stuff to Garrick that way. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't put us in range of sleep. And this guy's a hand next. We're not doing anything about him this turn anyway. And... Yeah, maybe this is where Ford or Seth delivers Natasha to the south, because we gotta need her... Maybe we get Vanessa to do it, actually. Can Vanessa just... Yeah, I think, like, our, mm. our fighting units here are pretty good. Oh, would also be nice to do, though. Oh, we have a Dancer, though. Like, we can do so many things here. No, but you know what? It just, it just gets better and better. Yeah, we can just mm -hmm. use the Dancer. Yeah. What if we heal Seth, and Vanessa comes in to grab... That's kind of weird with this Ford here. I mean, Seth just moves out of the way, and then Vanessa grabs from here, goes down. Uh, we take drop with Inns or something. And then Garrick and Erica takes care of these two. Mm -hmm. yeah, I keep on thinking, like, does Seth maybe not just want to, like, go south anyway? Like, Maybe he does. I don't know. Um, it, like, this is kind of where all the combat's going to be, especially with these uh, Pegasus Knights showing up. And I think, like... You know, I'm, I'm going to say, I think, like, Ford, Arter, and Ross have it handled. I was about to say Arter and Ross have it handled, but I think Ford actually is, like, you know... Like, check out his stats against, like, the Murms and the Brigands. I think it's, like, totally fine. It's cheating against the Murms. <laughs> okay, all right. I I mean, I'm not going to pretend this is not, like, fine, but I will say this is the worst performance against a Sim Sword I can ever, like, see from a unit besides, like, Arter. <laughs> like, this is so cringe. Yeah, I know. Three hit KOing and getting doubled back with a crit chance that for, like... But uh, but like look at the guys over here it's like what five unpromoted units and like an archer and like some brigands on the way i think we have this totally sorted like uh without a healer though a without a healer? i mean like okay you know what? we're, we're just, gonna we, be without a healer either way we, we, we can say yeah true it's just like hmm. the thing is like the south has like so many good combat units already though you mm -hmm. have like garrick and vanessa and Innes. can we see where uh ford can go actually so, okay, so what can happen is Ford can actually just take, or uh, take Seth's course. So what we do is we, we heal Seth, move Seth, right? Mm -hmm. Like imagine Seth's not there. Ford mm -hmm. goes here, picks up Natasha, and then uh, Vanessa can just do a take drop to put her on the forest south of it, and that's like close enough, right? Yeah, that seems good to me. I like that better. I think this I think this group doesn't need Seth per se, but this is like so many enemies coming here. Uh, you want Seth, and you don't want Ford. Yeah. That's really the thing. Yeah, let's think, be honest with the viewers, yeah. right? I agree with you. They could probably handle it, but I think Seth is just the easier way to handle this part. Whereas the South, mm -hmm. like, we can have Garrick and we face a bunch of stuff. We don't need Seth to do that. And we can do... I want to get this Arch out of the way now before that Brigands becomes a big problem. Maybe like this. Like, something like that. Honestly, we should just save state here, I think. Oh, yeah, true, yeah. Like, like I probably should have done that it these two moves, but I should just do it here. Uh, save the state. Yeah, better late than never, for sure. Yeah. And then, I don't think I want to go in with the Sword Slayer here. We just, like, keep Ross where he is, maybe use a Vuln. And then if they go for him, they go for him, but I don't think they will. Yeah, no. And then Ford is going to go here. And Iron Man seems sus here. I think Sword is better for the Brigands, just to not get hit. Yeah, I agree. The, the counterattack is not, like, super valuable anyway. Mm -hmm. Although, actually, Natasha's going to be in a forest. Will she live? Yeah, she lives at Brigand. She has enough speed to not get doubled, and she has enough bulk to survive a Brigand, I'm pretty sure. 23... Yeah, 20, yeah come on. She she totally one. fine. And it was just one Brigand. Okay, so this is going to be Vanessa doing the tick drop. Uh, harder... So... There is a universe where we can just do this. And just chance the crit? Yeah, if he gets crit by these, he dies. That's unfortunate. But we did make That's... a safe state just now, so... <laughs> is it really that bad? Although, if he makes the, the archer too... Actually, the archer plus the man probably kills him. Yeah, never mind. We're not doing that. Does it, well, does it actually? Well, why, don't, why don't we check? Like... Simsword is, like, alone is, like, near the with KO. There's no way this archer has less attack than the Simsword guy, right? I mean, you know, you're kind of right, so... 
Uh, yeah, it's a steel bow archer. A guys. steel bow, get it? Yeah, no. Okay, you know what? It, it ain't I, happening. Steel I agree. Back. I agree. One back. Bad idea. Uh, uh, she does the take drop, I think, and then. Yeah, let me do this. This is easy to mess up, so. Give him the other killing edge, maybe? Uh, yeah, I definitely want to get some axes. I'm thinking about how many items I need here. I don't think I can pull things back afterwards, but I think we, we can put the. Yeah. Bone, yeah. Right. We can put the Voln up. So, mm -hmm. um, do you want to give him an Iron Sword too, just for like a really nice, Accurate. accurate doo doo option, or maybe an Iron Axe is better? Maybe it is. I kind of like having an Iron Axe. I don't know what the next opportunity is to give him stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, Killing Edge, sure. It's like a nice inventory, mm -hmm. you know? It should be all he needs for now. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> just. <laughs> it's so goofy. Okay, so here you go. Oh, I can just get my stuff back, never mind. Get Wait, back. what? You can convoy <laughs> multiple turns? Or multiple times in a turn? What? Broken unit. Broken I unit. never knew. Broken unit. I mean, you can, you, knew you can, like, um, canto and then convoy, right? So yeah, this is just that one's so that. funny. Every time you want to wait with uh, after, 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 after cantoing somewhere. All yeah. Right, so, let's see. I'm going to have an extra turn on Vanessa to kill that guy. I don't think it well, matters. We do. Yeah, we can. That this goes... I kind of want to... No, I don't want to be in range of Sleep Breeze this turn, do I? Because Natasha's yeah. going to be here, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's too short to get to Garrick. So... Wait, where can the Sleep Breeze... Can you, can you just, like, hand axe from where he is? You can, sure. Yeah. You can. Uh, but, like, if we go from below, we can use a more accurate weapon. Like this. Oh, well, like, who cares? Oh, no. Oh, we miss and Erica gets the XP. Like... <laughs> True. I guess this is Axe XP for him. I don't know if we want to get S-rank axes or thingy on him. Yeah, I don't know. Like, at home, it seems mm -hmm. kind of cool. I guess it's I okay it's for just him like, like something really far out. I guess this way he's in range for Natasha to heal him next turn. Yeah, it's a win-win. Win-win-win. All right, okay, I'm down. And then go here, take, and drop. Natasha in range of an enemy. And then if we put Nessa here... There was something I could do here that I forgot was important. Uh, Axe River kill the Brigand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just thinking... Oh, I remember now. It's uh, building supports with Garrick. There we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was like, yeah, why this support? No, you're totally right. All right. This will be the last I'll time just... you see this dance animation if I have my way. Yeah, we totally forgot about it. <laughs> Excellent. Put it up. That's a cool dance animation. You got to show it off like once each game, right? Be like, all right, this is the dance animation. And then like... That is exactly the amount I wanted to show it off with. Okay. So no healer, no dancer. Perfect. And Nessa goes here. Just get this problem out of my hair. This is still not a range to sleep breeze, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's not. Yep. We could feasibly bait out one use with Nessa because her res is kind of good, but I don't want to reset just because she got hit by sleep and then she's on a mountain yeah, just doing nothing. Like, kind of pretty bad. Maybe I should have used my two use actually over here instead of the one with full uses, but, you know, live and learn. Uh, this is a range of Ballista, which I think is the only relevant thing Ines can ever do next turn. Mm hmm. I think, like, using the 2-use Axe Reaver would mean, like, putting the 2-use Axe Reaver on her at the start, which is just, like, a level of foresight. I don't think it's yeah. appropriate to demand yourself. I was not ready yourself. for that, yeah. Yeah. Alright. Looks like Ross's lower bulk is getting him attacked by these guys instead of Seth. But I kind of like this better, because that way they're just gone. Definitely dead, yeah. Although, I guess if Seth weakened them, maybe Arthur could get to kill one of them, so maybe that would have been fine. Yeah, yeah, it's hard to say. Okay, so yeah, getting through all these at once is going to be a bit annoying. Uh, these Hannah's Springs are so annoying. They just waste your time for the reinforcements, I'm pretty sure. That's their, that's their whole goal. They don't even have villages mm -hmm. to destroy. They're just kind of vibing here. They're just like, they're, they're the guidance units. You start like three turns out, right? Yeah. Excellent. Okay, and there's the priest coming, creeping closer. More brigands as ever. Mm -hmm. She didn't even get that much closer. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here... So now it's just... I wonder if Arthur can handle this. I don't think he can, though. It's too much damage on him. Yeah, they just, like, nearly kill him. Yeah, even the shine boost is, like, not enough. So that's just one rounds, though. Uh, we could yeah. just have Ford get started on them, because we need, like... Uh, actually, Seth alone is... Wow. Hmm. Yeah, he's, uh, he's not very good. Uh, we're going to bet how much short he is on doubling, 11 speed. Okay, he's, 11, he's not nine, one point two. short. I'll, I'll give you that much. He's, he's like, he's several two. points. Two? Nah, it's more, right? Is this, uh... It's nine speed. Oh, yeah, nine, he's... Eleven? Yeah, 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 you're right. You did the math. I didn't. I suppose That's that... Good. You were doing fates math, right? Yeah, I guess so. 
Uh, yeah, Ross doesn't even kill if Ford weakens, so I think this might just have to be a Seth job. Yeah, that's actually like really risky too, if we just like have Ross do it. Yeah. What do we do like this? Then we leave one for Arter to get. Maybe Arter can like kill one over player face plus enemy face? He has a lot of speed, right? Sure, yeah, Arter can do it. He doubles the guys, so... Like, if he's out of range of this guy somehow... Uh, it's kind of hard to find a square with the soldier here. Maybe we just remove the soldier and then there's no more soldier there. Mm -hmm. One thing we can do is like have Ross hand axe the guy from like the south of the soldier square, right? Or yeah. So no, we go yeah here in the hand axe the guy. If we hit, uh, not not the soldier, the guy, the brigand. If we hit, then actually I think Arder can move in and freely get this attack. You mean on the? Oh, that's the door key guy. What's up? Yeah, I like that. That's smart. Um, but if we don't hit then Arter can't do anything, right? Yeah, well, what's he going to do right now? Still nothing, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, true. Okay, nice. I like this. Maybe Dorky Guy suddenly moves, who knows? <laughs> dorky Guy is way too afraid of uh, everything that happens here. Okay, I'll take this. Not too bad. Gotta get a meek speed somehow. Good job, Arter. Well done, 17. You get, like, another level, and then we promote the Guiding Ring. <laughs> yeah. I wonder, actually, is he going to get a level... Maybe this is all just wasted EXP. Mm -hmm. We can commandeer the Ballista if we want. I think that's far less useful than just like attacking with the Silver Bow and killing somebody, right? Yeah, I think this turn it doesn't matter that much what exactly they do, because Garrick is going to enemy phase a bunch of them. He doesn't want all mm -hmm. these Myrmidons, like no way, no matter what we do. So maybe... I wonder if Vanessa can one on these. Mm -hmm. Oh, she does. That's so tempting Ooh. with the Archer. Yeah, the Archer, though. I wonder how much it takes from an archer. I also don't want to fight Marissa, obviously. Yeah, this is too risky. How much does Marissa do? Five, yeah, that's a... That's Five, a risk potentially 15. So if we have Axe Garrett going here, there's no way he kills a Myrmidon in any phase, which we can use to our advantage. We just plug the gap with him, Iron Axe a bunch of goons. Um, mm -hmm. Or... I wonder if we use Tethys to our advantage to kill the archer somehow. Just want to like hand axe two soldiers and then like not kill the Myrmidon. Yeah, I guess we can like hit into a Myrmidon and then one of them enemy phases himself to like lower health. Um, I guess I can always physic him if he's really in need of help a bit. Yeah, we can also just like move Erica and now Natasha has a square. Oh, Natasha can go where Erica is. You're right. Can we Erica just kill these guys? She can. That's true, actually. It's an Erica kill. Yeah. It kind of like locks out our um, hand axing options. Yeah. This move, it does. but. Yeah, we can also use Innes for that. Like, the, the soldiers are really not, just not a problem. <laughs> it's just really not. Not yeah, true. We can just, like, kill a soldier and then move forward and, like, put Erica there. Yeah, that's okay. We like it this. also puts Natasha really far forward. Yeah, like, here, and then, like, Erica kill, and then Garrick just, like, sit on the spot, right? Oh, true. I like that. Go, Inns. I guess the less fights uh, Garrick does on enemy phase, the more HP he has over the course of the next couple turns. Yeah, and I think that's actually going to be, like, a pretty important... Okay, so then Erica, thing to have is Garrick HP. Is Erica fine Garrick. to do this and then get bowed, though? Uh, I think so. I mean, like, if she takes 11 from the Steel Lance soldier, how much can she take from the Steel Bow guy? It's a slim oh, that's slim, oh, that's Slim Lance. That's a whole different story. <laughs> um, different I mean, guy. we're going to put Garrick on the square. Maybe just put Garrick there and just like, kill the soldier a little whatever. Yeah, just like call it a day. Just like move Erica a bit. She does nothing, but who cares? She yeah. opens up her tile, right? Like, you can get the bow to Innes that's not a silver bow. That's true. Get a longbow on him for extra options. That's pretty good. Yeah, just give him the stuff. Give, give the me stuff. the white gem too. You got the stuff? <laughs> yeah, get the white gem from him before he dies. Alright, heal Garrick. Hmm. I mean, Garrick can just like attack from two range that soldier, right? Okay, so a really dumb fancy thing we can do is kill something with uh, Vanessa. And dance her. I mean, I don't think she can one up with the javelin though. But you see what I'm trying to go for, right? Like a Tethys dance, and then with that dance, Vanessa can rescue out, and then Fork drops Tethys back in the back line again. Hmm. Yeah, I can see it. Uh, the question is where though, because we can't I mean, really hit anything. I guess we can kill. We can javelin a Myrmidon at least, so that he's kind of weakened. So that next turn we can punch. Do so we like not want that though? Well, we we can we kill. Want we can the hit one. Alive, that's right? okay, right? Because like the other one, one two, let's say the worst case scenario for that is Garrick kills a soldier on enemy face, and he kills the Myrmidon we weakened, and then he fights 
You gotta remember Don, and then, you know, the other Mermidon doesn't die. But yeah, I totally have, agree. Then we have one less Mermidon. Good. Yeah, this is really good. I like it. Oh, I just realized. <laughs> we did a Javelin attack with the animation song. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Whoopsie daisy. Let's not do that. It's not. I saw that. It's like, why do I never see this animation? <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> I've not seen this before. This can't be a good sign. I've played this game way too much. Okay, so we go back. I need to go back where Ford can reach. So that's somewhere there. Yeah, just like north of Garrick right now. I like that because it's out of range of the brigands as well. It does put Tethys like further back than I might like to, but you know, it's still it looks very fancy. So we should still have done it. No regrets. Okay, so we just play and face this guy because why not? Get this. Take him out. It's a slim lance guy, right? Come on, what's uh -huh. the issue? Makes movement order not screw us up. I guess if Marissa suddenly moves first. Well, then Marissa's right in front of us and probably not dead. That's still, that's still yeah. seems fine to me. Alright, let's see it. I, I am presuming you have to go somewhat to soon, it. though, right? Oh, yeah, sure. I, I only just looked at the time. <laughs> I want to get this Marissa recruitment, though. Okay, we'll see it. Uh, okay, so Ross has a key. So Ross, with it, we can tell Ross is in door opener because he promotes using an ocean seal. Oh, oh, true. Wow. Here she comes. Okay. All right. That worked we out. Just, we don't just kill her, do we? No. Okay. Well, that's yeah, nice. it's not that good. The Crimson Flash. Yes. All right. I don't know why they didn't talk <laughs> during that <laughs> during that enemy phase. She's getting paid, right? So. Yeah. <laughs> that's all she cares about. I'm getting paid. That's a very low hit rate. Are you seeing this? Thirty-five. Yeah, like it's one 35. RM, but damn. Oh, oh okay. Last minute oh. dodge. It's always so stressful. They make that dodge animation take like so long. Excellent. All right, not too bad. Did we just talk to Marissa. Yeah, that's do we, that. Do we review Marissa next time. Probably do, right? Uh, yeah. What do you? Yeah, let's do it next time. Okay. Yeah, you, Marissa. Oh, chief. Hi. I just hit you with my sham seer. <laughs> what, a what a mess, mess. bro. All right, Marissa acquired, which means reinforcements acquired. So next time you see us, we're gonna be fighting. Was it three cavaliers, a ranger, seven, eight, nine Pegasus knights, and a falcon knight? Yep. Yep. <laughs> When we're like You're in this position, good. this this horrible spread out <laughs> position. Just in the mountains. Yeah, just chilling in the mountains. Uh, we got the means to tackle it, I'm sure. And if not, you know, we'll see about that next time. Mm -hmm. All right, see you next time.